Hi, my name is Wendy with Creation Depot, and today we're going to be talking about how to reset your settings in Adobe Photoshop and what that actually means. Okay, so we're in the Photoshop environment, and I do want to go ahead and say that the quick answer for this is to hold down Control Alt Shift um, on a PC, and I think it's Command Option Shift on a Mac, and I'll put those up on the screen. And all you need to do is that you close out of Photoshop. You close out of Photoshop. <laughs> Sorry, it took a minute. Um, and then I have mine in the taskbar down here. But basically what you want to do is you're going to click on the Photoshop icon or double click if you've got it out on your desktop. And then you're right as soon as you double click it, then hit the key combo. So you might want to have your fingers ready on the keys and then double click it or click it if you got in the taskbar and then hold down the keys and then it will prompt you. If you do this in the wrong order, at least on Windows, Windows is going to come up and say, hey, I would, do you want to really do this? Or, you know, you really want to change this? I don't remember if it's like delete Photoshop or change Photoshop, but it will, it will interrupt you. And you don't want that one. You want the one that is obviously from Photoshop, the prompt, right? And it will say, do you want to delete your Photoshop settings? which if you're trying to reset it, you do. Um, and that's all there is to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it. Um, but first, I want to show you what that means because I went through all the other Photoshop videos on this on YouTube and none of them talk about the consequences of doing this. So, I mean, they all say, well, you're gonna lose all your settings. You're resetting it back to factory. But what does that mean? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop here and we're going to talk about it. And basically what I want to show you is, is that when it says it resets it to factory, it resets it to factory. And it doesn't say factory. What it says is that it's going to delete your Photoshop settings file. And what is in your settings file is literally everything. Your preferences, your workspace choices, your um, all of the files that you've ever had open showing up here. Um, if you've got toolbars arranged specifically on, I mean, that's part of your workspace, but stuff or like if you've got your library over here and you've got your, oh, here, I will open one up and show you. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is a file that I just opened up. I'm, I'm reworking the artwork on my YouTube channel. And what we're looking at is that over here, if you've got your character palette over here, that's a setting. That is something that's going to be saved. If in this is part of your workspace, right? Like, let's say I've got this down here. I've got my toolbar out here. This is part of it, right? Whether or not I've got rulers turned on, all these things, all these ways that you have manipulated your workspace, that stuff gets saved or in this case deleted when you reset it. So that's part of it. Now I ran an experiment because I wanted to see just how much it got screwed up when I did the reset. So these are your preferences. Now I cannot, for the love of Pete, find a way to save out my preferences somewhere. And I know it's got to exist. I will link to um, a option. And I think that this is saved in your settings file. And that's why I was having trouble finding it. It's because the word is just different. But like if I go in here and I set, I'm going to highlight auto update open documents, right? Um, and that's going to be my change to my setting, right? So I can't save my preferences. Like if I go through here and do all this, I, there's no place for me to save this as Wendy's preferences, right? So I believe all this stuff gets sucked into your settings file, the one that you're going to delete. Now I'm going to link down in the description below a link to go to Photoshop, um, or excuse me, Adobe's site where they show you on different operating systems, how to get to the settings file. And so what you might want to do before you do this, if you're not sure, I mean, if you've completely borked Photoshop, the only way that you're going to get it back is just to go back to factory. So you're not going to want to save the settings file, but if you're not sure, and you want to save the settings file, that link will show you the different places to go to get your settings file and then just make a copy of it and stick it somewhere. Cause you can always overwrite whatever Photoshop resets it with, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and leave this checked as like our proof that this is going to go away and then hit. Okay. I've messed up my workspace thoroughly here. Um, I do want to point out that you can go to workspace and go to new workspace, or I have my workspace already set up as reset workspace. And see it goes back to the way that I, I'd like to have it um, but if you before you do this if you've got stuff set up the way you like it go to workspace go to new workspace and then name it and then choose if you want to save your keyboard shortcuts this is part of the preferences stuff it's in a weird spot and then menus and toolbars so if you've got stuff set up a certain way 
name it and it's going to save it for you and i believe that this stuff comes back so we're going to check that as well all right so it's time for the test we're going to go ahead and close photoshop because you got to close it for this to work i'm going to go down here to my taskbar and then i'm going to have my keys ready my alt control shift because i'm on pc and then i'm going to click push and i'm holding it down now i see the delete the adobe photoshop settings file we're going to be scared and hit yes it's going to load it up and you will notice a couple things when this happens when it eventually loads it okay so the first thing you'll notice is that my previews of all my files are gone so this is like a fresh install photoshop doesn't have any memory of the stuff that i've currently worked on um, it's just it's all brand new so when i go into something i'm going to go ahead and open up Ooh, let's go let's go grab my art file for the youtube all right, so you see it's got all this stuff that everybody gets rid of as soon as they like get in here, right? So my first task is I'm gonna go check that preferences file before I touch anything else. And see, it's gone, your preferences are gone. So it does delete anything that you set up in here, it's gonna disappear. So just keep that in mind. If you've got something specific, if you've been working with Photoshop for a long time, you probably got things the way that you like them. So you might wanna save that settings file. But if you save the settings file, chances are if something is screwed up in Photoshop, you're going to bring it right back with it. So it's kind of, it's almost better just to start resetting stuff. So then you can go to window and then go to workspace. And yes, my workspace is still there. So I can hit Wendy's workspace and it resets everything to my workspace. So that's good. And the workspace does have your keywords um, or your keyboard shortcuts and things like that. So you get most of it saved, right? It's just these little preferences over here. Um, that you might have to go back in and change. This is a quick way to do it. So it does take, like the other ones advertised, like it does take like 10 seconds or 90 seconds to reset Photoshop. But I wanted you to be aware of the consequences of doing it because, you know, you could really shoot yourself in the foot, <laughs> you know? Um, so like, it, it's nothing that you couldn't come back from. You can always go in and reset your settings and everything, but um, if anybody knows of a way to save out your settings, um, and I'm kind of surprised I don't know that given how long I worked with Photoshop, but other than the link below that tells you where to go grab your file, um, I'm kind of at a loss, you know? It's like I set this stuff up ages ago and I haven't touched it since, so. All right, guys, that's it for now. I hope this has been helpful to you to kind of not only show you how to do it, but what it is exactly that you're doing. <laughs> so if this helped you, please give it a like um, and also subscribe because that does make the YouTube gods happy. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.